find the canoes in the caves. Savages all around him. Hawkeye moves like a shadow. None will know he is there. Why won't Magua attack tonight? Fear. Fear of the night and of the unnamed things which walk the night. And there is no way we could get the girl safely away before dawn? It would be foolish to attempt it. If we climbed back up through the caves to the upper exit, Magua will have thought of that means of escape too. I'd almost be willing to try. I'm responsible for the safe delivery of Colonel Munro's daughters. Perhaps if there was some sort of a diversion reaction to draw Magua and his men away. Hawkeye returns. He will have a plan. It's worse than we thought. They're as thick as flies. No way we can possibly hold them off when they attack. You said something earlier about trying to get to Fort Edward for help. One or two of us. Let me go with you. Ancus and I will enter the pool here, swim underwater to the river beyond. That way we can get past Magua's men. We can be back at Fort Edward by morning. You and Chingachuk must take the women folk into the cave behind the falls. Perhaps we can return with help before you're discovered. And if you don't, Magua would not be foolish enough to harm either you or the Colonel's daughters. Too much ransom is at stake, and Magua is a greedy man. And you, my father? I am an old man. Since Magua does not fear me, he will not harm me. I suggest you take the ladies into the cave, Major Hayward. After we put out the fire, Arcus and I will make our way underwater past the enemy, and Chingachuk will join you in the cave. I know I will see you and Uncas back here by morning. Thank you both. If it is all possible, we will be here. Miss Cora, Miss Alice, we're going to hide in the cave behind the falls with Chief Chingachuk while Hawkeye and Uncas go for help. You really believe that Magua would dare attack us? I hate to think what my father would do if he ever laid hands on that outlaw Indian. Pip and I know very well what he'd do. He'd trounce him spectacularly, and then he'd probably drive him out of the new world completely. Wouldn't he, Pip, dearest? Ruff! 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 Miss Alice, Miss Cora, we must go to the cave. Go, my son. Go, and may you and Hawkeye travel in safety to the fort. My spirit goes with you to guard you too. Father. Come on, Arcus. We have a mighty long, cold swim ahead of us. The falls, the caves, both top and bottom, the clearing below. We have them completely surrounded. There is no chance for escape. We will watch for the first gray streaks of the coming dawn, and then we will attack. Mm. It seems we've been hiding in this cave just forever and ever. I'm hungry, and so is Pip. We must be patient. We would dare not show ourselves outside the cave. Do you think Hawkeye and Uncas were able to slip by Magua's men down the river? They both know this territory like the palm of their hand. My son has hunted here since he was a boy. Hawkeye speaks of this land as his homeland. The light at the opening of the cave is beginning to soften. It's turning gray. The sun god stirs. He will soon walk the forest. And if they don't get back here in time? Chingachuk and I will hold them off as long as possible, Miss Alice. You must not be afraid. No harm will come to you. Here. Wear this. A gift from an old man. 
It has always brought me luck. It will serve you as well. But I can't take your necklace. The years have been kind to me. Although I have seen my tribe diminish by warfare, by pestilence and hardship, I have a son, Uncas. He is the last of the Mohegans. In him is all the luck an old man needs. Through him, the Mohegans will grow and once more take their place among the great Indian nations of the New World. Thank you. I'll wear it always. The attack! No, no, trick. They don't know where we are hidden, trying to draw us out into the open. Stay away from the entrance to the cave. They seem to be getting closer. There, then, now don't be afraid. Perhaps, perhaps it may even be Hawkeye and his friends. They, they brought help. Hooting and howling like savages. Pip, Pip, where are you? <laughs> Look at Pip. That's how he acts when he sees you or, or me or anyone he knows. Oh, Pip. Pip, who is it? Is it a friend, Pip? Recognize my father's sly handiwork. They came this way. From the moss on the north side of this tree, they're heading northwest. Magua must have some sort of camp hidden deep in the forest. We would do well to proceed more slowly. We do not want to catch up with them before nightfall. It was a stroke of luck finding your friends the Delawares on the way to Fort Edward. If we hadn't, Magua may have far outdistanced us. They are happy to join us in our mission. The shadows of the late afternoon fall across the trail. We must continue. Hoping Chief Chingachuk was able to continue leaving his markers. There is nothing my father cannot do in the woods. The markers will guide us to Magua's camp. I am told you have something to say to me. I would be more comfortable with my hands free. I will not try to escape or attack you. Magua fears no man. We are alone. Speak to Magua, soldier. You can be a rich man if you wish. You, Magua. You need not share the ransom with the others. I could arrange it that way with Colonel Munro. White man's riches do not interest me. And what good would they do if I lived with the thought that at any moment I might hear the whistle of an arrow, feel it pierce my body? Besides, these men are my friends. When the war ends, we will march victoriously westward. You could march with us to new lands where you would be hailed as a great chief. You speak boastful words. We will defeat the French. Perhaps there is something more I want than your extravagant promises. Name it. The woman, Cora. I want her as my squaw. She is riches enough for Magua. struggling now, me. 